City Life, we invite you to stand. I love what it says at the very beginning about how heaven is the great mystery. And then it goes on to talk about how what Jesus was doing is so countercultural. It's so different. Can you imagine if you, you knew you were about to die and you said, let me come and wash my friend's feet. And so we serve a God of great mystery. He does things differently than we expect. And sometimes we don't understand exactly where he's taking us, what he's doing. And we pray, God, have, give us faith, Lord. Give us faith so we can see. Give us faith so we can see that you have the victory, that you know what you're doing, that your promises never fail. And so as we sing this next song, let's, let's pray even now that, that he would increase our faith, that he is a God of mystery, but he's a faithful God, and he has the victory.
take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good yes you take and you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good, you turn it for good, let's lift it up in this place, and you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good, you turn it for good, come on, let's declare it now, and you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it You turn it for good. You turn it for good. And you take what the enemy meant for evil. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the best.
stay in a place of, of worship. Just Jamal felt like God had put something on his heart uh, to share with us, so we want him to do that. Yeah, as we were singing, um, God just was really just pressing on my heart about um, God turning uh, what was meant for evil to good. And um, I, I just I just kind of had these two images in my head. Madeline was talking about late in the midnight hour. And uh, I recently uh, reopened a journal that I had from like years ago that I had like wrote like a couple pages in, let it go. And I found something I wrote to God the night uh, I asked Madeline, I told Madeline that I liked her. And uh, it's a long story, we talk about it later. But I just remembered that like in that, when I was writing to God, I had to give what I felt like the devil was like spinning for evil to him to experience that good. And this isn't like for my single guys or single people, it's not a one-on-one -on -one to get, get married. But I just, it's that mindset of like, Satan was trying to spin me into isolation. Satan was trying to spin me into like, you're not worthy enough, you're not good enough, or it's gonna fail again. And I feel like God was just like, give it to me. So I just I just felt that encouragement to like, continue to give it to God until it, it, it turns out for good. Trust in the process. And then I just also felt like people, there was somebody in the room or some people in the room who just felt like they had done too much to be, for God to turn it to good. And um, I just came into, into the mind and uh, uh, when, when Balaam uh, of Moab had called the, this, this like prophet to curse his people. And even though they were in their mess, even though they were kind of getting beat up and, and, and cursed and kind of dropping off because of the sins they committed, God was actually prophesying blessing over their life. So like, I just wanted to encourage whoever's in the room that even if you're wrestling through your mess and trying to find your way out to what God has promised you, you may be thinking God is cursing you, but he may be blessing you in a whole nother country, preparing your way for what you're about to do. So just, just open your heart to God turning what Satan is trying to use for evil in your life to good. Open your heart to trust what God is calling you to and where he's calling you to. So I just felt those two things on my heart, just like continuing to give it to him and just opening your heart to what he's doing. He may be, he, he may be blessing things that you may know nothing about and you'll never know about it until somebody writes it in a book and reads it later, so. I like it. Come on, let's keep worshiping together. Come on, you can clap for that.
thank you that you turn it around even when we can't see God. That you go before us in battle. 
And all we have to do is worship. All we have to do is praise. Right now, we submit ourselves to you, God. Come on, as an act of faith, it helps. Believe it or not, it helps when we use our bodies to engage in worship. When we open up our hands, when we kneel, it's an outward symbol saying, yes, God, I submit. I submit. I submit. We submit to you, our great defender. Our great defender, our strong tower.
Yeah.